Todd Rothstein of Great Falls Construction from Gore, Maine. And I'm at an existing convenience store up in Callis, Maine. We're, gonna, we're installing some new bathrooms and showers, and I wanted to just give you a quick look at uh, just right before we put the tiles on, just what a bathroom shower material setup should look like. And right here we have the two shower rooms. This particular room, as you can see, uh, it's going to be a bathroom with a toilet sink, and also it has a stand-up shower. And I just wanted to take a walk, quick walk in and just show you the material that's used for tiling. What we're doing here is a, it's a porcelain tile, which is a hard material, very, very, very solid uh, tile material. And what we do is we install cement board. It's uh, called Hardy Backer uh, Pro Grid cement board, and that's proper material for installing your tile materials. And you can see every two spaces is another screw. You've got to set your your flooring and of course and your walls to the appropriate specs where it has on the floor it's every two spaces and the tiles on the walls it's every eight inches. In this particular application the tile will go approximately six feet from the floor to the top of their line which is six feet off the floor. And so we run the cement board up the wall and then above that we have our typical um, moisture resistant sheetrock which has been primed and painted two coats. And so we'll apply our floor tiles and then we'll after that we'll apply our wall tiles. In this particular bathroom we have a floor drain. We've got three fixtures. We've got our shower, toilet, and sink. And so you'll have a floor drain just in case any spillages. And this one, as you can see, you want to accommodate, keep the floor drain up high so the tile will be able to butt right up to or nestle right to that floor drain. Similarly, you want to account for your, your uh, toilet drain flange. And as you can see, with the floorboard, like with sheetrock, we still apply a, um, a wire mesh and a thin layer of um, mudding to protect your joints. So anytime there's a seam, you want to put at least a rough coat of cement across so that those seams don't bleed through when you're doing your tiling you don't have cracking. And so we have the opportunity of coming across the hall where there's a couple of bathrooms that were completed just to show you the finished work. And as you can see, you have your tile, wall tiles, a glazed tile, and it's um, got a nice cap at the top. And they've installed, and we will continue that, we install the wall tiles on a diamond pattern. It gives it a nice uh, height visual. And then the floor tile, as you can see, is on a just a straight square pattern throughout. Yeah. And basically, this is the setup. You have nice square corners coming across. And the wall tile is just designed uh, to start at the diamond, work its way up to the wall cap. And it's Todd Rothstein, Great Falls Construction, to our me to show you another project that we are completing for our loyal customers. Thank you, and I look forward to talking to you again.